probably the biggest challenge in all of science and the dirty little secret of our profession is that it's 90% plus failure. You have to be able to bounce back every single day, sometimes from catastrophic failures, experiments that have been carried on for days or weeks or sometimes months, and have those have the results be not what you expected and not interpretable. You have to be able to come back and do the experiment again, maybe reapproach the problem. Uh, that's the biggest challenge. We're a technology development lab. We're really interested in applying the principles of miniaturization to drug discovery, which they've been successfully applied elsewhere in biomedical sciences. Why drug discovery? Because the promise of the taxpayer money that went into the Human Genome Project was that we would be able to do drug discovery on the entirety of the human proteome, all the collections of the proteins in your genome. And it hasn't been realized, and it hasn't been realized because sufficient technology does not exist. And so we develop ways to generate large collections of molecules and uh, microchips that are capable of screening those collections of molecules uh, cheaply and efficiently, regardless of what uh, protein of interest uh, it might be. Everything we do here runs the gamut of biomedical science. So uh, we use the basics uh, that you see around the lab, like microtubes and pipetters, HPLC instruments. We do a ton of genome sequencing, uh, protein analysis, and then my lab is a technology development lab. We also develop custom uh, instrumentations. We build custom uh, microfluidic devices. We build custom laser optics for reading those chips, um, you name it. And we develop all of the code as well in our lab. UCI is a phenomenal uh, scientific community. The colleagues here are uh, incredibly supportive very collaborative. I have active collaborations that run across departments here in biomedical engineering, uh, numerous in chemistry. Uh, the colleagues that are actually in pharmaceutical sciences are equally interdisciplinary. There are basically no boundaries. People really are pursuing the problems that interest them and they're not doing so with any constraints in terms of uh, disciplinary boundaries.